Okay, in this movie we're going to try to cover some of the basic uh, construct of HTML and CSS just to get something on the page. Um, and we're going to um, do some coding so that you can understand exactly what it is you're building. In the future, a lot of this code is going to come automatically uh, when you use Dreamweaver, but for uh, this purpose I want to see how you um, I want you to see how this is constructed. Okay, so first of all, uh, the idea of HTML is kind of like this sandwich. Uh, HTML, and these are called tags, anything with these little brackets, all um, have to begin and end. So HTML begins here, which I call the buns, and ends down here at the bottom bun. Okay, so within the HTML, we have two different sections. One is called the head section, which contains the stuff that you don't really see but controls the page more or less. Uh, the title of the page, uh, CSS may be in here, meta tags, and JavaScript, and we'll go over more what all that means later. Um, down here is everything that you can see in the body. So the head has the stuff that is kind of like the condiments in a sandwich. And then down here, the body is like the meat of the sandwich. This is everything that's visible on the screen, the, the content of the HTML. Okay, so what we're going to try to build here um, is something that looks kind of like this. Okay, we're going to have this box out here that we're going to call the container, and that's going to just kind of hold everything together. Um, this little guy right here will be the, um, the header. A navigation section aside, articles within this section and footer at the bottom. And um, this is all HTML5 tag, uh, so um, I'll explain more about why we use uh, these instead of just um, div tags like we used to use. And this big outside one, the container, will be a div tag. So let's open Dreamweaver and get started. Um, I, I don't use this screen generally. Some people like to and I don't. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to File. Oh, it's way up there and you can't see it. Uh, Command N or File New. And then I'll get this dialog box. And in this dialog box, um, I'm going to leave it to the default, which is HTML, None. I'm going to choose from the doc type HTML5 and then I'll say Create. And here it's opened automatically in split view. So I can look at just the code side or just the design side, which is pretty blank right now. But split view shows me both sides at the same time. The other thing I have over here is this live button. The live button will allow me to view this through a web browser engine so that it will look more uh, almost, almost like it does in a web browser. And we'll talk about that also. Okay, so let's look what, what the code view gave us over here. Um, let me see if I can enlarge this just a little bit. Oh, no, it should be fine. Um, right here's my HTML sandwich. The first thing up here at the top is the, de the declaration. This just means, or says to the web browser when it gets there, this is an HTML5 doc. Okay? Then there's that HTML sandwich I said, the bun and the closing button. So this little backward slash you've probably figured out means uh, close that tag. So in the top here we have the head tag which starts with an opening head tag and it ends with a closing head tag. What's in there so far um, is the beginning of this meta uh, data and then the title of the page which right now is untitled document. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to um, let's get started. Okay, and that, because I'm typing on the wrong keyboard, <laughs> let's try that again, shall we? Let's get. Okay, and you can see it up here in the title, and when I hit enter, it'll change my code to reflect what I've just done. So now at the top of my web page, I'll see let's get started when this page comes up. All right. So I'm done working up here in the head section and now I'm going to go down here to the body. I'm going to click right here, or actually I can click out here. Whatever I type out here is going to end up in the body anyway. So if I type something like hello world, 
and oh and it shows up over here okay so this is doing writing the code for me while I'm working over here and vice versa if I work over here it'll show up over here when it refreshes okay so right now what really I want to do is that that big box remember this big gray box so that's what I'm going to put in here now um, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go to my insert menu which is over on the right under common you should find one um, called insert div tag and when I click on it it's going to give me some options I, I could give it a class or an ID um, those two things are just um, identifiers so that they can be um, styled later so I'm going to call this one container but you can name it anything you want okay and then I'm just going to say okay so I have an ID of container for this div tag and over here let me close that up over here you can see that it inserted between the two body tags a new tag right here there's the beginning of it div and here's the end of the div tag and then inside or inside the container it says um, content for ID I'm sorry content for ID container goes here so you can see it written here and then it closes the div tag the other thing that we have is this is the declaration of ID so its ID is equal to the word container and that's how we can identify this from all the other div tags that end up on the page okay so far so clear <laughs> good what I want to do right now is I want to style this container so that it's bigger if I delete the stuff that's inside of it it'll just collapse and we won't be able to see it because it'll won't have any content um, so I'm gonna write a, um, a, a style rule for that okay and here's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna come over here and click in the code section or I could click in the body section either one and what happens is at the bottom I have this little tag selector and I want to go to the last one and I want to click on it and it kind of selects that whole tag that way when I go to write my new rule it knows what I want to write a rule to control okay so in my CSS styles on the all section I have no rules right now I'm gonna come down here to the very bottom and there's a little plus symbol on a page and I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna write a rule for the ID container okay and it tells you right here what it's gonna write a rule for okay um, right up here it allows you to have, these are all different selector types we have class and ID and tag and compound and we'll go over those at a later date but for right now we're gonna leave this one just um, as this ID tag um, because that's what it is remember ID equals container and I have a little pound sign in front so I know that this will control the container element then I'll say okay then I get this wonderful um, dialog box that lets me control so much of the attributes about this box right here now over here you can see that it's already we've gone back up into the head section you can see that right there and it started to write my first CSS rule to control this down here so my CSS rule is called um, container it's an ID selector and now I want to change some things about it right now I'm going to change I'm going to go to the background and the category background and I'm going to choose a background color for it and in this case I'm going to choose uh, a gray color okay and now if I click apply down here we should see it happen on the screen right away and that's kind of nice Let's see if I can get this out of the way not a chance okay um, the next thing I want to change about it is the the size of it so I'm going to go down to the box category I'm going to give it a width of 600 600 pixels which is good and I'm going to give it a height of 500 pixels okay and then I'm going to say apply and we shall see that it has grown in size we can't see under this yet but we will okay the next thing I want to do is let's see I think that's all I want to do right here okay and then I'll just say okay let me close this up so you can see there's our container right there all right now inside of the container let's go back over here and look at our diagram the first thing I want to put in the container is a header so I'm going to use 
a tag that's called header to create this box. Now, HTML is just going to make the elements that I can style with CSS. So the elements don't have a whole lot going on. So the style is what tells them what to look like. But without those um, tags, there's nothing to style. So we have to kind of create all those as we go along here. So I'm going to go back down in my code section. Um, inside of this ID um, container, and I don't want this text in here anymore, so I'm just going to select it here. I could select it here as well, and then I'm going to hit delete. Then over in this side, I'm going to split those two so I can see the, the, the division between this div and this div tag. Inside this div tag is where I want to make the new um, header. So it's open bracket, or whatever that is, um, and then I'm just going to start typing header. And if you, as you can see, it has these um, code hints if, as I start to type. Oh, now it's not going to do it, of course. That'll help me uh, find what I'm looking for. Okay, then I'm going to just hit return, and then I'm going to um, start the end tag already. And all I have to do is get um, hit that uh, forward slash and or backslash, and it will write the rest for me because it's pretty smart. It helps you uh, code that way. So right now I have inside of this box, I have one called header, but I can't see it. It's in there. What I have to do to make it show up is then write a new rule for it. So while I've clicked on header here, I can see down here in my tag selector, header, and I'll click on it, then back over to CSS styles, back to the bottom again, and I'm going to make a new CSS rule. Now, right now, I have this little style folder. And if I flip it open, I can see I have one style in there. And if I click on it, down here, it shows me the properties that I added to that style. So there's the color, the size of the box. OK? So our new one, click, is going to be, um, it's going to work on, on just the tag header. So I really don't need container. There's only one header on this page, so I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to come down here and see where it says less specific. It now just says header. So it will affect all the elements uh, that say header. And I'll say OK. And the first thing I want to do here is choose a new background color so we can see it. And how about this wonderful, this, oh, this is a great color my favorite color right now um, and then down to box box uh, let's make this 550 pixels wide and we'll make it 100 pixels high uh, we are going to add a little margin around the outside now the margin pushes that box away from the edges of stuff padding pushes stuff into the center of the box more and we'll go over that more later but right now let's just go 25 pixels and the same for all and then I hit apply and magically this appears up here okay because now it has a rule that says it needs to be this wide by this high and this color so that's all I want to go in there and say okay now I have two rules in my box um, the header and then my div tag container okay so um, this will be continued on the next movie so come right back <laughs>